deposits my gloss is popping you like my hair teeth hi guys and welcome back to my channel and today i'll be watching a horror story so first of all comment down below if you get scared and please tell me the truth and second thing that i watch horror movies with my mom so like at least at 3 a.m or 12 a.m so yeah and then i'm like no i'm not going to the bathroom i'm too scared or i'm just not going to sleep because <laughs> i'm too scared and then yeah so now let's get started with the video so guys i'm watching a horror story now so it's the channel is thriller teller so if you guys want you can watch this it's just terrifying tinker this story, story happened, happened to my, my friend. friend we, we both, both wish to stay anonymous, anonymous. My friend met a man on Tinder. He looked quite charming and they both arranged for a date. He picked her up and drove them to a restaurant where they had a good time. After dinner, my friend became unwell, dizzy and nauseous. He gave her a lift home and she started to feel better, so he came in for a coffee. But when they went inside, she started to feel sick again, so she asked him to leave. He said, all right, that's totally fine, and left. My friend then went to bed, but woke up in the night to noises downstairs. It sounded like someone was in the house and moving furniture. My friend became really scared and she immediately called the police. My friend told the operator that she is hearing some weird noises from downstairs as if there is someone in the house. The operator asked her if she was home alone, to which my friend said yes. The operator then told her that while the noises are probably nothing to worry about, a police officer will be with you in 40 minutes, as they are experiencing a busier night than usual. The operator also told my friend that she will stay online with her in case of emergency until the police arrives. But only after three minutes later, the police arrived. The police searched the house and not only do they find a man in the basement, but also an equipment with him, a complex tool set which could easily be used as a torture device or to dismember a body. My friend heard the officers pinning the man down before creeping downstairs to discover that all her sitting room furniture was covered in plastic sheets. And the most terrifying thing was, there was a saw and a hammer lined up on the living room table. My friend quickly recognized the man. He was the same man she met on Tinder and went out on a date with. The police told my friend that the man had drugged her and then taken her house keys with him when he left after she fell unwell. The man discovered she was living alone when he dropped her back home. The police told my friend that the operator had heard someone listening on the line and had said the police would be there in 40 minutes to take the intruder by surprise and hopefully prevent him from attacking her. To this day, my friend has never ever been on a date with anyone she met online. She was very lucky that she woke up in the middle of the night, otherwise no one knows what would that man had done to her. So guys, it was based on a true story, I can't believe that, but then it wasn't horror at all, it was just terrifying, but it wasn't horror, and I wonder what that man would have done to her, but, so thanks for watching, see you next time, guys, bye!